Hi, this is Travis with Wakanda Boats here in Republican City, Nebraska. We also have another location in Glen Elder, Kansas. And today I'm super excited to show you the brand new, this is the 2024 model 1875 crossover. Um, so the crossover is one of my favorite models. It's always one of our top sellers. Um, it's just a great, the design just kind of fits anybody and everybody. It's just a great uh, big water boat, has plenty of beam, plenty of length. It's actually you know it's 18 foot 10 inches so we we call it 19 foot got a 95 inch beam nice and deep um, it'll go on any size water it just kind of fits everybody you know the demographic for this would be you know we got a lot of dedicated fishermen that get into this because it's really an affordable boat for as much as you get this is one of Lund's biggest values um, with very feature rich um, but there's a lot of guys that are buying this because they really need a true do-it-all you know they have kids or maybe have grandkids that want to do water sports it's really well equipped to do that, but it's also, you know, even if a guy's gonna fish 80, 90% of the time, it's, it's perfect for that as well. So we're gonna point out the features and we'll also talk about kind of how we stock it and the upgrades we put on it. Um, we're gonna start with the outside and I'll kind of show you, there's three primary colors that we stock. These are the uh, three most requested colors. So this one would probably be the most popular. This is the black on gunmetal silver with the charcoal graphic. If you pan over here, I have a, uh, an example here of a blue on gunmetal silver. Uh, this is another popular option. There's one over here that's kind of buried. This is the white on gunmetal over there. That's another popular color, but those are primarily the three colors that we stock. And uh, so I'm just going to point out first on the exterior uh, the, the upgrades that we put on them. So we always do the, the raised chrome logo. You have the 3D1 logo here. The trailers are all nice. Uh, bunk trailers with disc brakes it comes going to come with your uh, side guides now we upgrade the wheels on just about all of our trailers now so we put the nice looking mag wheels it's going to come with the spare tire another really great feature that they added on the trailer option for 2024 is your bow trailer steps so we put that on all of them so you got a really nice four step ladder getting in and out this is handy for when you're on the ramp especially if you're by yourself you're not having to get your feet wet getting in and out, but it's also handy even, even in the garage, you know, getting, getting in and out. I really like this feature. Everything we stock is gonna have, have the bow trailer steps on it here. So the trailer is rhino line, so it's very gravel resistant. Um, let's come back here to the rear. They also come standard with LED lights. They're all sealed LED. You don't have to unplug your lights getting in and out of the water. Uh, it's gonna have your retractable tie downs that are, a lot of people know those. They're very systematic there. We'll pair this with a 150 horse Merc four stroke. Uh, does this boat perfectly well. You can see the nice wide 95 inch beam. Uh, we do the stainless steel prop on these as well. This really aids for guys that are doing water sports. Uh, kind of allows you to corner at higher RPMs and things like that. It reduces the cavitation. Um, so this kind of covers the exterior. Let's go to the interior now. And we will show you, <clears throat> um, like most of our lawns, you know, you're gonna have a vinyl cockpit with snap out carpet. So we do the snap out carpet so you can pick and choose how you wanna run it there. The carpet is more comfortable. Uh, if you want the ease of clean, you can pull the carpet out if you're doing heavy fishing and then you can just hose everything out. Uh, we're always gonna do the sport top with the hider compartment on all the crossovers. We have a dedicated video on this sport top. If you wanna take a look at that video, it shows you how easily the top goes up and down and how versatile it is. But it's very important on the top, you know, having this compartment getting out of the way so it's out of sight, out of mind when you're not using it. Now with the XS model, you're gonna have your jump seats here in the back. Okay, so you have added seating capacity on both sides with storage underneath each seat. So here, and then we'll have storage here and also your engine crank battery is gonna go there as well. And we got a big, uh, this is a 24 gallon live well. So they oversized this live well. Um, in the rear on the crossover, so plenty of live well capacity. Now also the crossover is gonna come standard with your ski package. So you can see this is here is uh, equipped for your ski pylon. So the pylon comes in and out of here. You're gonna get that is included with the package. And then you have your seat base here. So if you wanna move your seat up here, fishing in the rear casting deck, that's where, where that's gonna lay. We always do hydraulic steering upgrade, anything basically 150 horse and above. Uh, we're going to upgrade to hydraulic steering. That's, in my opinion, it's, it's, a, it's a good investment. And a lot of guys may add a kicker motor, especially if you're adding a kicker, you're going to want hydraulic steering to pair with that. So 
Um, comes with three pro ride seats. A lot of guys will add the four seat, but a lot of guys don't because we have the jump seats in the back. We do upgrade them to the air ride pedestals. So these uh, seats are adjustable height and they got a shock absorber on them. And then your driver's seat also has a slider. To your left, you can slide this forward and back. And then when you do the uh, hydraulic steering, it's going to come with tilt as well. So you can adjust the tilt here. So this is your crossover console. Uh, very, very nice, simple, easy to access all switches. Uh, we'll install the sonar here. Um, kicker stereo. Uh, we also do the under console drawer. So each console is going to have a drawer that slides out that's lockable. This is an option that we put on all of them here on each side. And then, uh, as Lunder known for very spacious glove box, we got a big glove box here. There's always cup holders. Just about everywhere there's a seat, you'll find a cup holder, along with grab handles for when you're in rough water. Everywhere you got a seat, you'll have grab handles. Um, those are the bow. Uh, we'll get to the bow next. I wanted to go over the. Uh, this is the thing that really sets apart the crossover is your center uh, storage compartment. People really love this, and I honestly wish they would put this in some of the other models. Um, because every owner is going to use this differently. You know, we have a lot of guys that are going to load this up with fishing gear. Otherwise, it's a great place to stow skis or wakeboards or water toys. Just a big, nice storage compartment to use for whatever you wish. Uh, and, you know, some guys will stack rods in there. Even though you have a dedicated rod box here, this has 10 rod tubes uh, integrated here. So here, 10 rods in here. Um, we'll install an onboard battery charger in there as well. Uh, the charger will depend on which uh, trolling motor model the guy runs. So I've got, you can see as part of that ski package, you have these bow cushions here. So this again would be for water sports if you're going to kind of spoil your, you know, your, your kids up here so they can lay out and have a nice comfortable cushion. And then they have this back bolster here as well. But these are very easily removed, right? So they snap in and out. So you'll, when you're fishing, of course, you're going to take these out. And you know, a lot of guys, if you're not, if you're gonna have a day of fishing, you'll just leave these in the garage. But we're just gonna slide these over here. And then you can see a really big, open, spacious bow. This bow's uh, all, bigger than a lot of the other Lund models uh, of this uh, stature. Now this is actually removable. So this is a, something you can remove. When you have those cushions in there, a lot of guys will take this out. So if you wanna get your feet down on the deck, you can, then you can see you have grab handles on both sides, but for fishing purposes, you're gonna slide this in because you wanna to add to your space. You're gonna have your fish seat here. You can see you got ample uh, square footage here for fishing and then two very large storage compartments here on the bow as well. Now your trolling motor batteries will be mounted under each console. The rest of this is just all dry storage here. And then <clears throat> again, you have your trolling motor station up here. Uh, we will you know, install whichever trolling motor the guy uh, requests and we'll have that all rigged up. We have the sport track system just like you'll see on all the one models for rod holders and all those other sport track accessories. So hopefully this this video kind of shows you how great and versatile this boat is and why it's so popular. Uh, we always keep a lot of these in stock. Uh, if you have any questions you can email Terry. Uh, Terry is Terry at WakandaBoats.com and I'm Travis which is Travis at WakandaBoats.com and all of our information and contact information is on the website. Uh, any questions, just let us know. Thank you very much.